I want to show you how I'm making the stems for all of the flower blocks in Calico Garden. This strip of fabric already has heat and bond light on the back of it. I just cut a couple of inches off of a fat quarter and now because the digitized design is exactly one quarter inch, it's really important to make sure that this is a quarter of an inch wide. And the Quilter Select Ruler is probably one of the best for doing this. Now for the primrose block, I need three four inch pieces. And the easiest way to do that is just lay it out straight. And I have a 12 inch ruler, again, Quilter Select, but you wanna lay it out straight and make sure that it's straight under the ruler. And this is the most accurate way to cut these little tiny pieces. I'm gonna cut the 12. So there's my 12 inch and I've got a little bit left, all right? And I'm gonna pick this up and move it just a little bit. And I'm looking down here, I'm gonna move this to the four and make sure that the ruler is exactly straight on the edge of the fabric. Okay, and I'm gonna move it down to the eight. And I'm looking at the numbers on the ruler, I'm not using the numbers on the mat. So I know that I have exactly three four inch pieces here. Now, two of these pieces, they have to go like this and, and Lori did not want them to overlap. They need to be cut at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna lay one face up and I'm gonna lay one down exactly on top of it, face down, and I'm gonna use the 45 degree line the dotted line on the ruler. You probably, I'm putting the 45 degree line on the bottom edge of the fabric and I'm putting the point of the ruler on the point of the fabric. And then I'm just gonna trim those off. And because they're one on top of the other, right sides facing, now I know for a fact that their points are going to exactly meet because they were cut at the same time. So that's, that's what you're looking for to make that happen. I wanna show you on this, with the pink fabric, when it gets layered like this, see how you can see the stem right through there? So what I did on this one, this is the first one that, it, that I discovered it on, I went ahead and just took a little pair of scissors. Because this had not been tacked down with the blanket stitch, I was able to just pull it up from the adhesive and I trimmed this off. But I can still see the thread through here. Maybe you can't, but I can. I can see the thread. This is Sulky's Tear Easy, and it's pretty sheer. I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna run this placement line again, and then when I put this over it, you can barely see the green lines. Okay, now I'm gonna tear this away from the stitches. Now let me iron down this on top of that. Oh yeah, that looks a million times better. And that easy tear, it will not affect the embroidery applique at all. So here's the difference. You cannot see that stem up here through, through here at all. Look at it on this one. See the stem right through the fabric? You don't want that. You want it to look like that. 